All right, this pregame interview is powered by Reliant. Drew Doherty with wide receiver Danny Amendola. And, wow, what a whirlwind. Sort of 10 days this has been for you. How are you? What's going on? And what's it been like uh, just the last two game weeks? Uh, it's, I'm great. First of all, thanks for asking. Um, it's great to see you again. Yes, um, and uh, the past 10 days really have been kind of a whirlwind for me, just trying to get acclimated with the city, get acclimated with the playbook, uh, my teammates, all the staff here in the building. And it's um, everything's been been smooth. This is a great organization uh, starting from the top. And, and I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. You know, we heard you last week meeting with the media before the game. And you were talking you, you were talking about how the, this offense is very similar to ones you've been in in the past in New England. There was a package installed for you. And. Oh, ho-hum, you come out, you catch five passes, one of them's a touchdown, you help move the chains on the other four. How much more have you grasped of this offense since then, since the game, and how much more are you growing in it, you think? Uh, it's Every day is a process, really. You know, I'm trying to absorb as much information as I can, ask as many questions as I can, uh, and and try to uh, just learn and, and, and grow and kind of conform to, you know, being a good teammate here and, and you know, learning my role, understanding my role with this team and try to expand that and, and, and try to grow and try to help this team win. How that first catch feel? Great, man. I've been, I've been, uh, you know, I wasn't on a team this, this whole summer, this obviously the past seven months. So, you know, I was, I, I was dreaming about getting back on the field and, and, and catching the ball and, and Tyrod, the first ball I caught, I, you know, I, I knew I was going to get the ball really before the, the play started. And, well, just because of a, what you saw? Yeah, the coverage, the coverage yeah. they were playing, and, and I knew I had a chance to get the ball. And uh, it all kind of happened in slow motion, and I said, I remember saying to myself, all right, here it comes. And, and, <laughs> and, and then I just caught it and kind of snapped in, uh, in, into football mode, and, and then it you know, all, all happened after that. So Let's talk about this Cleveland Browns defense. What stands out to you when you look at them? After what you saw against the Chiefs last week, yeah, they got they got some playmakers, man. They fly around. They're well coached. They, um, you know, they play good defense. They're they're playing at home now. It's going to be a it's going to be a loud crowd. So we got to deal with you know being on the road, playing and playing uh, in the elements, and and they're going to be juiced up coming back, you know, off that close game with the Chiefs. So um, they fly around, man. They got a bunch of great athletes, bunch of bunch of great defensive football players. So. Um, you know, we got to really grind this week, try to try to get uh, in, in a good position against them. So now let's see how you're powering game day. Danny, Danny Amendola, do you have any game day superstitions? Um, I, you, to tell you the truth, I don't. I don't. I kind of try to stay. I have a routine, uh, so to speak, but, um, you know, not not too many superstitions. I think I had I had more superstitions when I was younger. Yeah. And then I kind of learned that. Uh, you kind of get stuck in this, these different kind of modes. One thing goes wrong, then another thing goes wrong, then you, then your your head's out of the you know the proper headspace before the game even starts. So, I just try to you know come in to the game as free as I can, uh, you know, of, of distractions, of try to eliminate all of those things, and and um, and just get ready, get my body ready, get my mind ready, and, and go. What sort of music you listen to on game day? Chill, man. I like I like chill music. Um, you know, in, in if any music at all, I, I, I used to go out and pregame warm up and, and, and blare music in my headphones and get all emotionally juiced up before the game started. But I've kind of noticed that works against me, mm. um, kind of exhausts me a little bit. So as, as much as I can kind of, uh, you know, be calm in the right state of mind going into the game and then and then, you know, obviously during the game, just burn it out and and, um, you know, it's obviously very taxing on my body. So uh, just try to uh, use all the energy in a proper way. Yeah, I don't think I've talked to a player who has at least like four or five years of experience in quite some time who has ever answered that question with music other than something very, very calm like you're talking about. So yep. I, th I think, yeah, it sounds like you learn and you go from there. No doubt. Uh, all right, last thing, what do you eat before a game? Like um, it's a noon game. What do you eat? Noon game. I like to eat. I'm. I love bacon and eggs before the before I, you know, when I wake up. Uh, but uh, my little secret weapon is uh, French toast with peanut butter and jelly on it. No Ooh. syrup or butter, just peanut butter and jelly. Kind of give you that proper um, energy long term for the game and, and and keep it rolling. So there you have it, kids. P B and J on a French toast, and yep. you will become like Danny Amendola, NFL yeah. receiver. All right, my friend. Good luck on Sunday. Best of luck against the Browns, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you.